gentlemen, and welcome to the Talk Shop Show. Today, as, as usual, we have a very, very special guest. We have uh, Malcolm Stoffman uh, from the, uh, the Mortgage Guy. Malcolm, the Mortgage Guy. I'm here uh, as well with uh, Erica Aguilar, the Senior VP of Complete CU Services. I Thank you very much. My name is Erica Aguilar. I am delighted to be here with uh, Malcolm Stoffman, the mortgage guy. We can continue and, and get to know a little bit more about you. Now, uh, there are different things that you are involved with. Not only that uh, you have a successful business, that you have a great team that works with you and you are in charge of, uh, you're ahead of the, the team and people are looking up to you, but you also have a, a show. You have a segment, a radio station, Y108, I believe that's what it is. And uh, where you answer questions, where you offer this service to the community to be, uh, to educate, and is that, is that right on the field of, uh, is that of long or what, what exactly is that show about? If you tell me a little bit, why would people want it to listen? So uh, I've been doing a show on Y108 for a couple of years now. Uh, started doing the morning show there, uh, basically just answering questions about mortgages, about financing, about debt management. And uh, from there, that led into an evening drive show. So I'm doing that uh, every three weeks, once a month, and just taking calls, uh, questions online by text or uh, in person, mm -hmm. and just trying to, uh, to answer questions that people have. People, I think, are quite intimidated uh, by mortgages, by mortgage questions. Uh, people, I think, often feel insecure about what they know and don't know mm -hmm. and they're just looking for some advice and it's not uh you know it's no obligation advice it's just an opportunity for somebody to call in ask a question maybe uh you know maybe they've got you know thoughts about buying an investment property but don't know how or where to begin or you know how do you save for a down payment or how much of a down payment do you need can you buy a house without a down payment you know questions that uh, maybe require a little bit more digging than sort of a super simple uh, Google search. And again, it's just uh, people, people want to, I think people want to talk to somebody that they can trust. And I think uh, having done the show and, uh, and as well as, uh, as the advertising that I do on the station, I think it brings a level of trust uh, to people. And it's not just, it's not just a sales pitch. I'm actually there to try to help and answer your questions. And that's very much uh, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, obviously, at the end of the day, I broker mortgages, but I'm here to help you. Um, you know, if you're, I, I say it all the time uh, to my team, to my family, um, you know, to anybody that'll listen, mortgages are complicated and they are intimidating for people who don't have them. They're intimidating for people that do have them, right? Most people sort of sign on to a five-year mortgage and then don't think about it again uh, for four and a half years. And then four and a half years comes along and they, they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, people have a lot of baggage around their finances. People have uh, questions and um, uh, you know uncertainties about their finances. As Canadians, we carry a ton of debt, as everyone knows, and people are confused about the debt. People don't realize that there's ways to reduce their overall debt payments to save themselves a lot of money. And, uh, and I think uh, some people do understand that but are sort of ashamed to ask the questions and to really understand how they can improve their situation quite easily in many cases, mm -hmm. just by consolidating some debts. And, uh, and I think that the anonymity of the radio show helps people to get those answers. That's so right. Malcolm, I was just wondering, uh, do you have a limited territory or you can do this all over Ontario? Or I work all over Ontario and I'll say this, uh, you know, just to the question earlier in regards to uh, if we're still doing mortgages in the pandemic, 
I work all across Ontario and my processes are virtually, well, they are, they're fully uh, remote. Everything I do is done electronically. Um, I don't need to meet with you. I guess I can meet with you if you need to meet with me, but the vast majority of people that I work with, I find that uh, we have our sort of initial conversation, uh, you know, after dinner on a weeknight and uh, we go through the basic information. It takes about 20 minutes to gather that information information and like I say I usually find that people like kind of seven o'clock in the evening to have that call you know the day's done dinner's done you know uh, family can sort of sit down and have that conversation with me and then after that it is all a matter of uh, email uh, text and phone and we can do everything with electronic signatures even appraisers today don't necessarily have to go into your house lawyers you don't necessarily need to attend an office to sign paperwork anymore so I can work anywhere in Ontario and I literally have had clients everywhere from Windsor to North Bay uh, and beyond so uh, yeah I'm quite comfortable working anywhere in the province.